yeah he got it done as well so let's see how it turns out okay so we are having a little bit of a rainstorm with a little bit of hail and uh, a lot of the molly right there it's little hail um, seems like it's it's gone now, it's not oh, it's coming from that side now. <laughs> so yeah, you can expect this three times a year. It's not that bad. It's turning the little wheel. I can decide if I want to protect it against hail by lifting it up. So it's basically vertical. But I would prefer it horizontal at this stage because the hail is so small and you don't know what the wind can do. So you have to choose. You have to choose between what's going to be the worst. Being a sail on a boat in the ocean that's upright or just being vertical and taking a lot of water in small hail. Well, I think the small hail is no problem. We don't really get big hail here. I have seen a little bit smaller than a golf ball in my life. But that I've seen once or twice. Lightning, on the other hand, is not your friend. Lightning, uh, it's probably because of the gold that is in the ground. There's a lot of gold in this ground. And you want to know the secret about getting electricity for free out of a lightning strike tap it out before it hits don't wait for it to hit and then try and catch that <laughs> you're not gonna catch it but if you do tap it out of that cloud before it hits now why is my gate open why would that gate stand open? Well, luckily, I have a remote control and I close it up. Well, that's probably for any cats that was outside to show them, hey, you better run in now. <laughs> so I've already fed all the animals. I didn't have a lot of food ready for Enzo and Diego because I took the day off and I fed them because they didn't eat yesterday. They weren't hungry. So they weren't that hungry today either. But I already had the food made. All the other animals fed just the ducks. Ducks are not fed yet, but they all Right off the desk. <laughs> yeah, it's. I suppose it happens everywhere in the world, but here in South Africa, this happens, and after half an hour, the sun comes out. That's the nice thing about it. So, let's see how this one turns out, but I am confident that all is fine. Got a little bit of water running. Well, coming in into the house <laughs> from the side, but it's no problem. This house was built out of materials that can take water. Trees are also very important. You need them, guys. Even if they waste leaves, you need them. They break down basically the power of the storm. It takes it. Uh, if you have a tree that's uprooted, imagine what your house would have looked like with that specific gust if it hit your house. So our tiles here in South Africa mostly it's concrete tiles. So they just lay down there, but they interlock and we seal them with a special sealer, but they're not sealed completely. Uh, 
the water just runs down. Now I am probably gonna have a little water in the house. It's no problem. I put a bucket down and it's fine. I doubt. I did switch my pump on. There is a little bit of a blockage now over there. Yeah, in the corner. That looks terrible. But I've got another outlet on that side where the water is running straight into a hole and it is coming out this side over there and over there I'm not going to stand with long so yeah there we go oh man this is too much water okay so the slope of the house of, of the yard it runs in that direction so what we have is a lot of water piling up on this side usually it runs through a hole in the wall I've got some ducks and stuff that is not sure where to go but this water over here is being thrown over my wall so if it flows fast enough, it flows over the wall. Let me just wipe the screen. So, yeah, it's pre I was prepared for, for this. It's already calming down. But, yeah, you will get a little water on you. Dainty is a little freak. It's his first storm ever. <laughs> so he, he wants to go inside. So I'm going to go inside. The tigers. Well, Enzo doesn't care much. He's got a hot. See, Enzo, that's why you shouldn't break the tiles of your little gazebo. <laughs> I don't know where's Diego. He's probably in his shelter. That's a concrete shelter floor with. A tin roof and it's big so he can they can both be in there ends up prefers to be there let me just make sure they're not in the pool no it's not in the pool but that's they run under the cars into the ceiling and into the house depending on which ones allow which ones to go there but there's a lot of shelter it's warm so it's not a cold rain it's nice it's actually refreshing I can feel the water on my arms are refreshing it's nice you just don't want a flat area or be below well sea level huh. then you're gonna have some problems and then you need to pump all this water out to make sure it gets to the pump. <laughs> so we are lucky enough here in South Africa to have uphills and downhills. If you fly over the country, you will see a lot of uphills and downhills. We don't have a flat area. In the free state, that is a part right about in the center of the country, that's quite flat. And um, that's where you get most of your farms and stuff. There's always a joke about Table Mountain used to be here in Gauteng area. Now Gauteng is from Pretoria, Johannesburg. And here where we are in Brackman and Springs, just in the east, in the Far East actually, they call it the Far East, that's why the hospital here is called the Far East Grand Hospital, but there was a joke about Table Mountain being here, and they dragged it to Cape Town, and that's why the Free State is so flat. <laughs> There's also the joke about the Free State being so flat that the guy's wife left him three days ago and every morning when he gets up he can still see her walking away <laughs> yeah that's the best way to handle these things with a little joke on the side Enzo you're fine over there and I treated them for their dicks just 
half an hour ago there was nothing of this but now here it is let's take it as it is and uh, it's gonna be over soon it smells great everything is clean guys the air is clean as can be the trees are helping a lot as well if you look at the angle that it hits it hits at 45 degrees at the moment if I can uh, maybe 60 in the wrong direction 60 <laughs> but it was at 45 degrees just a few minutes ago so that's great that leaves space I can hear the little peacocks uh, they should be under their mothers right now they are under those trees it's their first storm they've never experienced this before but yeah these trees strong as can be guys they are strong I've got nine of them I think if a Boeing would crash in this direction they're gonna they're gonna protect us against a big part of it <laughs> not that that would happen but yeah there it starts to calm down now that's the worst of it all the cars are washed down <laughs> I just unplugged the i8 I was busy charging it with the Sun a few minutes ago and when I finished the food for the animals I saw that well my battery pack was a little depleted already it had not that much power left in it so let's go down quickly it's a little dark inside here now hey are you guys doing okay the fan's still running <laughs> are you guys all back inside he didn't hear a thing <laughs> hey so I closed the door <laughs> hey. yeah what would have happened to the dump yard cats now I fed them all already a few minutes ago and <laughs> Yeah, she's not a dump yard cat, but the others are. I cleaned their sand, I fed them all, and uh, yeah, they're safe as can be, happy as can be. Hey, you're the last one I caught. <laughs> but yeah, I still want to go and see if there is any more of them. Let's see if I got any water in the house. I usually jump like this and if the water splashes in my face I know we have water in the house but nothing that I can see right now no nothing it's dry as a dry thing Trap is still eating over there Trappies didn't they eat all your food I can't believe it you know what I closed them up in the in the kitchen for them to eat first eat your food my boy yeah it is eating let's see what the electricity is doing at the moment this is quite interesting well okay I've got very little electricity left in the battery because I forgot to unplug the BMW so it is not making much power guys it's making power even now so we've got 132 watts 133 watts being pulled out of the sun even in this storm but we're using 500 so it's eating at the battery now I don't have much left I've got 35 units left on my meter I can just flip a switch and I can start charging that up let me show you guys how you do that you hold that for a few seconds now you go to menu one 
it said solar battery utility you press that one you go to solar utility battery and you just enter it and then you say I'm done now we are using electricity from the grid so I am now not totally off grid now I am charging this battery that's it that's what the flashing light is I don't need much I'll just use a little until the Sun comes out we're putting it's gonna to go to 40 that's that would be 40 amps at 48 volts being pushed into the battery so that would give you well I don't know uh, 1600 watts being consumed in an hour from the grid I just that's basic math I think I'm right <laughs> I'm not using a calculator here but it's still early it's we've still got some time and uh, it's already picking up we're doing 200 and 10 watts that we're getting out that would be over there from the Sun we're now using a little more if it goes up more I know that some people are putting on unnecessary things I'm gonna switch them off I'm sorry I have explained this a million times and we need to be ready for tonight so, <laughs> you've got to be cruel to be kind. So, hey, what's going on, Dainty? Are the tigers up? Enzo? You're not even wet. <laughs> the storm is over. Sun will be out in a minute. Just be careful. Yeah, it's a little wet. Diego, what happened? What happened? Can you believe it? Enzo, where's those sticks that were in your neck? There's one left. I think it fell off. <laughs> yeah, I think they each need another chicken. I'll prepare one for them. Here we got the water running through the hole in the wall. There's also a drain right there. Guys, these tigers are so smart. They know that it's a drain. They will go and sit on that drain and do their number one. They are so intelligent. They just know how to do stuff. You don't need to explain it to them. They are absolutely incredibly smart. I am so impressed with them. So the water's running into the drain there and out the wall there. They're not going to be happy because they love this pool over here usually. This morning I quickly got in and put chlorine in the pool. So the water will be fine Enzo. He loved it. Look there, he's not, he doesn't want to walk through the water. Who walks through the water? These are not wild tigers. These are tame tigers. <laughs> but yeah, everything good. This house can take a lot. I have to say it's got two concrete floors up there <laughs> and I'm not talking little concrete floors I'm talking real tough ones the steel in that concrete guys before we poured that concrete you couldn't see through the steel that's how much steel was in there if you looked at an angle it was totally a lot the foundation over here it's one meter thick on these walls and these are internal walls this whole house was built part for part so these walls that you see most of them are firewalls it means that that wall goes up 
it doesn't end right there. I know that one does just end in the ceiling, but all these others, they go straight up. They are part of compartments in this house. So this house, they were outside walls at one stage. Let's just put it like that. So all of these were outside walls. Hey, Enzo! <laughs> the problem is walking in that ceiling. That's no joke. Because, <laughs> yeah, I hope that stuff doesn't wash off now, Enzo. You guys must stay dry. But I can see those ticks are off from his neck. Because he had about 10 to 15. I don't know how he got it. He must have been sleeping on that part of the real lawn. That's what the real lawn. People tell me, why do you have synthetic lawn for the tigers to walk on? Well, guys, look at the real lawn. That's what it is. It's a mess. And that probably... Let me just open up for these lot. Look at this now. Now you're gonna go. Now you're gonna see a stampede. Let's just switch on some lights over here. Go! <laughs> Away! <laughs> and immediately they will help Trappis eat his food. Yeah, just like that. Hi, Zach. I can see you already had enough. Come on, guys. Am I going to have to take it away? I think I need to. Yes, you had enough, Zach. You are really, really well, well fed. Hey, Zach! Okay, so the storm is over. I'm going to put this up here for now. Just out of the way, I'll give to Trappies a little later to finish his food. Cats are calm as can be. Where's the little one? Let's see the little one first. Let me see if I can switch on my light. There's the four pipettes that I just emptied on the tiger's skins. Yeah, I just put my arm in here and I was able to squirt it right into his face. <laughs> Not his face. Oh, Angel, you'll feel great. <laughs> Wait, I see one in your ear there. Let me see. But I've got them both covered now. Both of them have been done. Guys, he's strong. You put your arm in there. And that's how he squeezes your arm against these bars. He's strong. He's strong as an ox. <laughs> but that's done now. Let's see how it works. This is a different kind. I think maybe they just started getting immune to the previous kind that I was using. A lot of places don't sell it anymore. And I did it, the Jaeger as well. Yeah, he got it done as well. So, let's see how it turns out. We're gonna check him out, the Jaeger. Looking forward to seeing those ticks lie on the floor within a few minutes. Let's see how it works.